Let's get into these delicious pumpkin cupcakes. You'll need fresh pumpkins or pumpkins in a can. You'll need about one cup to one and a half cups and we picked up these little cuties from a pumpkin patch that we went to. You'll also need all purpose flour, pumpkin pie spice, brown sugar, white sugar, powdered sugar, flax seeds, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, baking soda, baking powder, salt, vanilla extract, almond milk, and some type of spread. First, you'll want to cut your pumpkins in half. Now I saw videos of people taking off the stems first, but this was so hard to do. So what I did was just cut it in half first and then pull off the stems. And you seriously need a sharp knife to cut these pumpkins open with. Once you pull off all your stems, you'll want to scrape out all the seeds in the pumpkin. And I found it so amazing that these three little pumpkins have so many seeds in them. And you can actually save the seeds, rinse them off, and put them in the oven for like 30 minutes and they're delicious. Next, you'll want to bake them face down for 30 to 40 minutes until they become brown like this and soft in the inside. I added an extra pumpkin because I wasn't sure if the little ones would be enough to make a cup and a half. Now you're going to scoop it all out into a bowl. Then you'll want to blend it until it's nice and smooth. Next, we'll make our flaxseed egg. You'll need one tablespoon to three tablespoons of hot water. And you're gonna just let that sit for a few minutes until it becomes kind of gooey, resembling an egg. In a separate bowl, we'll add in our flour, brown sugar, white sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, pumpkin spice, and then we'll just mix it all together. Now you'll want to add in your pumpkin, vanilla, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and your flaxseed egg. Now we'll just mix it all together and get it ready to go into the oven. You'll let these cook for 30 to 40 minutes until your toothpick comes out clean. Now to make the frosting, we'll need powdered sugar, almond milk, pumpkin pie spice, spread, and vanilla. Now we'll just mix together all the ingredients. If it seems a little thin, just add an extra sugar. If it seems a little thick, just add a little milk. Now we'll mix it all together until it becomes frosting consistency. Once it's done, it'll look something like this and they smell so good. Next, frost them up, add your favorite toppings and there you have it, your delicious and sweet pumpkin cupcakes. Yeah. Does it taste good with the frosting? It does, 
Team Gravy, making things easy.